Hi, can we scan you? Hi. Hey! Bolts! What are you doing? Oh, okay. It didn't really hurt us, so it may be... Oh, shit! It's not harmless! Bolts! It's not harmless! Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers! My name is Gamers Cakes, and welcome back to Subnautica! Look at this! This is the new menu screen. It has now moving water. Isn't it pretty? I actually, I could be making a complete fool of myself now. I, I don't know if this is new. I think it's new. It just, I think there is still image before. And we're back in the game. Oh man, there's a couple of things I'm going to have to say to you guys right away. First of all, between the intro that I just had and the game start, I have taken the liberty of checking some of my old videos. And yes, the intro image actually has changed. It didn't look just new and crispy to me because I'm an all forget-me-not, but um, or forget it got. I don't know. I forget everything. So it was actually before like the mushroom forest or something. Anyway, so I just wanted to make sure I didn't talk schweps. And also, yes, I noticed very... I, the moment I stopped recording, I noticed that my compass wasn't working and I was like, ah oh, crap, that's probably another bug. And then I read all the comments, you know, that you guys are saying I made the thermo thermostat and I locked back in and I was like, oh balls, that's true. So what I did is now before in preparation, I made the compass, okay? And yes, now I have both the compass and the, and the thermometer because I made the thermometer, I might as well keep it. In this episode now, we're gonna go and check out these things, okay? I think there's even more of them somewhere around here, yeah? but what we're going to do is we're going to check this out. We're going to take a couple of um, beacons with us. Now, if we don't have too much room, I'm not too fussed about it because... Uh, actually, let's see if we get another first aid kit. Uh, I'm not going to be too fussed about it because we're not there to collect resources. We're there to just inspect the, the area, you know, like, and, uh, you know, have some fun and, you know, jazz like that and see what all that big hullabaloo is about generic mass also what i want to know is if all of these are the same you see the way it says possible cave openings geological information like these three are unique different but then you have this here saying a signal heat signature which is unique and another possible cave opening so these two are they actually exactly the same that's what i'm wondering in large organic mass and large organic mass are they exactly the same so they're just copies of each other so i don't know that so what i'm gonna do is um I'm going to take first the cave, sorry, the cave, and the other cave, okay? Now, we don't need the compass for that, obviously, because um, they are like a compass. They basically just tell us where to go. So if we put that in, we now have a possible cave opening 230 meters away. If I take this out now and put the other one in, I don't see anything. Did it go in? Yeah. Look at the... It is a different cave. So if we put both of them in... Wow. Oh, yeah. We're going cave hunting. Oh, depending how long that takes in this episode, we're going to do the other two then. So let's actually see the... the Not the geological formation. The large organic mass. And the other large organic mass. And let's see if they're different as well. So, if we're going to put one in first, large organic mass, there's one, 1,442 meters away. And now we get the other one. Oh my god, it is two different ones. Oh, this is exciting. This is so exciting. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the K first. And then we're gonna take these guys for a spin. So, that's what we're going to do first today, the cave. Yes, oh man, I'm so excited. There we go. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. So let's make sure this time we're not going to be stupid. We're going to take drink. The reason I'm going to take the beacons with us so we're gonna, we can leave a beacon and say um, uncovered. Oh, I'm going to actually just write it down. I'm gonna, uh, No, I can't write it down because the coordinates are not really coordinates. They're more... I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so let's take the water out actually because... Uh, mouse switch container. Okay. We take these with us because I wanted to always make more drink. And also the 500 energy are real great help for that. So... I keep shift left clicking. I'm playing too many different games. So let's put these away. And yeah, I think that's okay. So let, let's get going. So let's take that with us as well. Here we go. And the knife is there. And we're going to take... We're going to take a propulsion cannon or something with us. Where is my propulsion cannon? <gasps> no! Has it dis no, it hasn't disappeared. Oh my god, I just gave myself such a heart attack. Also, what I'm going to do, guys, and... Um, I'm gonna deassemble these now 
because I don't really want to leave them like that and I don't want to go in and pick up all the mushrooms and all that crap like so I have actually some of the other mushrooms down there so I'm not really too fussed about the uh, losing them so let's just make a little bit of room so we have some room I'm gonna take them apart I don't know why these guys died I have no idea now a few of you were saying like oh did the mushrooms kill them I don't think so I don't think the mushrooms killed them and don't worry about the white mushrooms. I have more down uh, in the seabed or somewhere else. I'm not really too fussed about losing them. Yeah, look at that. That is really odd. I don't know. Um, there was a couple of theories. Uh, some people said it was because I attacked one of the mushrooms, possibly. And um, now the mushrooms are gone. Like, they're not going to be given back. So do we get the materials back? Yes, we did. And I'm going to take the other one in part as well, which is here. Yeah. So that's really upsetting. And there was nothing in there as well. And uh, the so one was the theory was that the actual plant life inside that I put in killed them because I hit the mushroom or something, which I didn't actually in the fish tank, and exploded, killed the fish. The other theory was that an update maybe changed it that you need to put certain fauna and flora into it, which would make sense. Because that would be actually quite realistic, I, I, I think. I don't really, I never had more than goldfish. But I can imagine that if a fish it grows up in a certain habitat, that it needs certain fauna and flora to actually survive, to eat from, you know, to pick from. And if you don't put it in, then basically it's like never feeding it and will starve to death. And the other theory was one of the very first comments that I saw where I put all these special fish in the fish tank and somebody said, oh, be careful. Once the shocker or something pops, all your fish will die in the other aquariums. So I don't know, like that sounds like a book, so I don't know if it's a book, if it was a feature added where they need flora and fauna or whatnot. I have no idea, I really don't know. So um, I had no confirmation, no, oh, I had no actual written uh, proof anywhere in any of the forums or any update or any feedback from the developer saying either. So um, yeah, I don't know, it's all theory up to this point. So, but let's go cave hunting. Just before we leave, actually, like, one of you guys was saying, well, not one of you, a few of you guys are actually saying in the comments, like, you know, why I didn't make a rebreather yet? And I was literally just remembering that and going, like, shit, I better go and make the rebreather. And I don't think it's there in the moment. I think it's gone. So I can't find it anywhere here. Flare, habitat, stasis rifle. And not here. So I don't know if you need to find now... Reclaims moisture from the body. I don't know if you need to find... A, re a, a fragment for it first or if they just simply have removed it currently in experimental now the reason I made the computer chip is because I want to update my propulsion cannon which applies force to objects great why not I love extra force on objects so now applies force to objects so I don't know now it does more awesome shit I assume I have no idea so let's let let's just live with that <laughs> so um, yeah so do we have food no, we don't need food because we have a thermal blade, so um, we can, I suppose, take a couple of fish. We can take a couple of things with us and then cook them with salt, so we actually have a little bit of food. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a couple of fish, cook them with salt, cure them, so we have a little bit of food with us. I left all my other toys here, that's why I couldn't find them earlier, but I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to only take two high-capacity tanks with me, and hopefully that will be enough. I'm st this is still broken. Well, it's not broken. It's like I don't actually have the ability to make a modification station yet for, for this. So luckily, though, I have all the other add-ons that I made before still there. So we still have the CMOS storage. We have all that. And we have um, the actual CMOS pressure compensator here. So we don't need to worry about anything for now. Uh, we can have that and hopefully that will be enough. Oh yeah, welcome aboard. The welcome aboard, Susan. Hi, thank you. So, let's get going. I see you guys on the way to the first cave opening. And then we're gonna have a look around. Look at you guys, you're so pretty! Yeah, Shocky. That's or something somebody said we should name him. I don't know. This is... The, these guys are great. I think I would like to name the blue one Flare. Or... Or... Crystal. I like that name, Crystal, for blue things. It's nice. Shocky. And... I don't know. He's all black now. Why is he all black? Is that just because I'm outside and he's inside? Oh yeah, look at that! He's all dark! He became a shadow of his former self. What is if I pick him up? Is he like all glowy now and different? No? He's still there. Caution. Dehydration detected. Yeah, I don't know. He's all dark. He's all weird. Ah well, a radiation probably in progress. Okay guys, we can see basically two cave openings. One is 2 to 2, the other one is at 377. I have a feeling they're going to the same cave. 
Okay, but let's go to the one here. Now, the screen is a little stuttery, and I don't know why that is. Like, since the last update, that well, it could be two updates ago, but since the last update, I have... I'm experiencing a little bit of a frame issue when I'm in the Seamoth. Okay, yeah, actually, I know this cave entrance already. So, we actually know this one. We have been in there before. No, not all the way in, but a little bit in. So, I wonder... Oh, man, I'm so sorry, but I'm running at 70 frames per second. No problem. I don't know why it is so stuttery. This is really awful. It doesn't do that when I'm out of the Seamoth. It's only with the Seamoth. That is terrible. Oh, man. That is so awful. So where's the other cave opening? Let me see. There's the other cave opening. So let's actually go there and see. I never seen it from the outside, the other cave opening. So let's go there. Ah, yes, of course. It's the one that looks like nostrils coming out. Well, the other one looks like nostrils as well. But this is the secondary opening, which uh, we haven't seen before. Yeah, I definitely think that they changed something with the way the Seamoth behaves, as in with the mouse tracking. It's definitely, it's awful. So I hope they're gonna have a, an update soon like that fixes that. I know it's experimental and don't get me wrong. Oh, look at that. Nice. Some heat. And let's go down here and see what's going on down here. Now I'm forced to stay in my Seamoth, so hopefully I'm trying not to make as many turns. Oh, look at that. What are you? Oh, you're so pretty! Can I scan you? Ooh! You look like a worm! Oh, look at that, you're all jack- Okay, I'm gonna have to get out here because this is obviously, like, really weird. Look at you! Are you friendly? Oh, you're hiding, you're afraid! Let's go and check you out! Let's, just in case! Just in case! Let's get the scanner out, actually, on number five. Number five. And see if we can get a picture of you. You look pretty. Oh, hi! Hi, can we scan you? Hi. Ah! Balls! What are you doing? Oh, okay. It didn't really hurt us, so it may be... Oh, shit! It's not harmless! Balls! It's not harmless! Okay, you little bastard! Come on, do that again. Do that again. Come here. Yeah, how do you like that, huh? Yeah, in your face, you little bastard. Come here. You want another one? Give me such a fright putting your teeth in another person's mouth. You don't put your teeth in another person's mouth. It's rude. So let's explore a little bit more down here. And let's ignore this little bastard. He's selfish. He doesn't share his home. He looked so cute. Oh my god, this is so amazing looking. How far does this go? What is that? Oh my god! No way! Can we, can we get out? Hi. Hi. So, oh, so, oh shit, sorry, I meant to turn the light off. Um, I'm sorry. I hope you're not pissed and, and, and catch me with your umbrella. I hope there's no dangerous fishies here. Oh, let's pick up some magnetite. Awesome. Look at that. Can we take it apart? Can we disassemble it? Because it looks like our base. Wow. Oh man, look, there's a fabricator and a modification station and everything! Can we scan it? No, we can't, otherwise the logo would come on. This is so cool! Oh man, can we access- Oh, that would be so cool if you could open it and you could find like secret messages or something on a bench. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh man! An observation room. Oh, this is just too awesome. Hey. New creature oh, look, look, it says new creature cooked and unlocked. And I know I picked these guys up before. 
That is so cool. Caution. Yeah, okay, let's get some air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up everything once, I suppose, again, and that hopefully will trigger um, us being able to get the rebreather somehow. Whatever unlocks the rebreather, I have no idea. Okay, so maybe the rebreather is really just temporarily removed, and if so, then tough, then so be it. So let's actually see if we pick up... Oh, we can scan this all of a sudden. Oh, shale chunk, okay. That's new to me. Shale outcrops entry added to... What? Okay, what do we get from it? Lithium, nice! Oh, lithium! I thought lithium was only growing in... Um, yeah, we already know you because we scanned you already. But hey, new creature discovered. Susan has short memory loss anyway, but usually that only impacts her... Her builder. This is awesome. Oh, man. I hope, I hope we can find our way back out. Let's see if there's more underneath here. This is going so deep. No, we're going... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nearly hit that because things are like flicking in really late. I think this is what the latency issue is. Even though I'm running on extremely high frames, I, I think that's the problem. That things are loading in so stuttery that the Seamoth... I don't know. There's something wrong. But hey ho, we we can live with it hopefully. Now well, I found the exit, and um, there is nothing more down here. There was just a little bit more mushrooms, and that's pretty much it. But that was awesome. So we found the sea creature, uh, the snake, whatever it is, and we found um, the uh, wreck. I wonder if there's another wreck down there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, hello. Oh shit. Whoa, there's a wreck right beside the nostril. I didn't know that. Oh, that's our wreck. Yeah, look, that's where our... No, that's not. That's a different wreck. Hmm. That is, that's another big wreck, actually. That is pretty big. I don't think there's anything in it. Oh, that's the one we were in the very, very beginning, a few episodes ago. And yeah, there's nothing in it. I don't think they added anything to the wrecks. Let's have a quick exploration in there. I don't think they added anything into these wrecks yet. Um, let's just turn the light on. No, you can just dive through it. You can go deeper. But they haven't really added... I don't think they have added anything into these racks yet at all. I mean, every every update they could have actually... Oh, hello. Maybe we have to pick you up? Do we have to pick you up? No, spade fish. Already know the recipes, so... Okay, so how to get back out? Um, oh, there. Okay. This is so weird. Wow. Okay, so let's get out. Let's go back to our Seamoth and let's go home and recap and see what we're going to do. I'm not going to go to the masses, to the, to the land masses yet. We're going to do that in the next episode. But I think we have a little bit of time to start thinking about um, how we want to upgrade our base. Now, where's Trixie? Trixie, stop hiding. hiding. She loves playing hide and seek, you know, just when I'm about to suffocate and I have no air left. Where is she? There you are, in the sun. You, love, you like the sun, don't you? Yes, you love the sun. You, you love the rays of the sun, you know, and they, and they, they make you nice and warm, and then you get all fuzzy and warm in your belly. And anyway, okay, I'm talking crap now. Where am I going to home? Uh, there we go. Let's go home. So just to finish this episode off, um, I want to raise the levels of this. And over there is the big fish tank. I took this to, to, to the, the two sun sharks, the bone sun sharks that I had in my... Um, locker over there from when I disassembled the, the, this fish tank over there into this one and what we're going to do now is we're going to go over there and we're going to try to upgrade this one okay we'll put another one of those um, where is it multi-purpose rooms on top now we can't aim at it from here we might get closer and can aim at it no yeah yeah oh I think that worked yes 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 come on yes nice I love it Awesome! There we go. And we're gonna put another one on top. But what we need to do is... Um, okay, there's a little thing. Well, a little trick, if you may call it like that. So what I'd like to do is I like to build one of those. Well, not really build it. Just place it. Because even if you only place it like that, what happens is... Look. 
you jump in the air when you walk over it. So you can use it as a kind of a little trick to get up on places, which is really nice. And then, oh yeah, we can't build anything else until we destructed it or finished it. So what we're gonna do is, um, we probably should have built it closer. And yes. Excellent. That is cool. So how much do we have left in our inventory? We have a little bit of titanium left. So what we could do is we could try to get in from the top. Uh, sorry, in the middle. There we go. Nice. I like it. So we just go in here. And then we can build the fish tank in there. On top. There we go. Nice. Oh, look, and they're coming up. Nice. I don't know why these guys are all black. They're just shadows. Oh, my God. It's the Shadow Priest spec. That's what it is. Oh, no. It's World of Warcraft all over again. Okay, so now we have to get out of here. And, whoa, look at that. That was that was really fortunate. That was fortunate. Because we... Nope, nope. There we go. Deconstruct the hatch. Then put a hatch on the top and do the same thing again. Do we have enough for aquarium? No, we need more class. So the best thing is to probably go back, get more class. Spotlight here again. There we go. Whee! Oh, sometimes it just doesn't do it high enough. I don't know. Whee! Okay, again. Whee! There we go. Yeah, you have to do that. If you don't do hui, every time it doesn't work. Okay? That is essential to the success of the, of the Jumpatron. Okay? Otherwise, you can't parkour all over the shop if you don't do that noise. So, let's uh, build... Where is it? Here we go. A hatch. Let's build the hatch up here. There we go. And can we exit it? Uh, can we enter it? Uh, 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 a bit closer and... Yes! <laughs> and we shall build another aquarium right here on top. Look at that. How awesome is that? Come on, guys. Come up. That is so sweet. And then we're going to get glass and we're going to basically make all of these guys glass windows. We don't give a crap if that's going to cause problems with uh, whatever you call it. So let's see if we actually have enough glass to just make, make one window. No, we don't. Oh, damn it. But we should have enough to make a corridor. Can we make a corridor? Eh, no, we can't do that anymore. We used to be able to build from the inside. Okay, there we go. Let's take this apart. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here for this episode. I'm going to have a think about how I'm going to want to construct all that. But um, thank you very much for watching anyway. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick the like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. Oh, look at that. Swimming with the fish. We can build this so high. Oh, man. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Hey, Ray Ray. Shallow priests will inherit the world.